Williams. I am an Olympic certified boxing coach and fitness expert. I'm here out in Santa Monica at the Stables, primetime boxing, and we're going to be going over some alternate exercises to the standard lunge. So I'm going to give you a couple of those to work on. First thing we're going to work on is what we kind of call like a bench lunge. So you can have a bench, you can have a chair, your couch, whatever works for you. I have a boxing ring today, so we're going to be using the boxing ring. Um, generally what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one foot down flat. I'm going to place one foot behind me. I'm going to place that foot on whatever, whatever platform that you have at home, of course, and just place the top of your foot on that platform. So mostly just the top of your toes. And you want to have this front foot out far enough so that when you do, uh, do your lunge, you're not passing your toe over your front, or I'm sorry, you're not passing your knee over your front toe. So again, you have to bring it out fairly far so that when we come down, we don't have that jetting over the toe too much. So all we're doing is we're coming down and pushing back up. We're pushing with that heel, nice and relaxed on the back leg, pressing down and up. Everything is straight from here up. Everything is level. And then you could do, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20. It depends on where you're at and your fitness ability and your strength. And then all you're gonna be doing is switching the leg over, right foot in front of you. So we wanna balance it. We wanna get it far enough out, right about there. And then down and up. And always breathe, of course. We always need to be breathing. So that's what your bench lunge will be looking like. We can add some more resistance and add some weights. I have 10 pounders here. So we take these weights, we can keep them here, we can keep them down at our waist, or we can pull them up here. For me, I, I prefer having them up here. I feel a little more balanced. So we'll be doing exactly the same thing. So putting the top of the toes on the canvas or your platform, whatever you have, and that foot wide enough out or long enough out rather so that that front knee doesn't pass the toe and down. So now we've just added resistance. And again, you just want to switch your legs, 10 to 20 reps, whatever works for you. So now the second exercise that we can do as alternates to lunges is good mornings. Um, you can do deadlifts as well, but I prefer good mornings. Uh, we can do it without weight first and then we'll add some weight in for resistance. Um, initially you want to have your feet about shoulder width apart. And the important part of this is that you keep your back very straight and you keep your chin up as you're coming down. So all I'm doing is I'm just coming down, everything is level, my chin is up, my legs are straight, and I'm feeling that just in this position, I'm feeling that in my hamstrings and my glutes. And you come back up. So it's a really simple exercise. And when you're doing it, you think, oh, that's not really working, but the next day you're gonna feel it. So again, just down, you keep your chin up, and back up. So adding weights for resistance. Uh, 10 pounders is what I have here, so it's really up to you. And you're gonna come down, weights are hanging right in front of you. We're coming down on the same idea. So we want our chin up, our back is really straight, and down, and when we come back up, we're gonna squeeze everything, make sure you're breathing, and down, and up. So really simple exercises. We did the bench lunge and we did the good mornings. I'm Carrie Williams and I'll talk to you soon.